Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is part 12 of our Flutter tutorial series. In this part, we will learn about um, text field and Flutter. Uh, as you can see, I have created this uh, text field demo uh, project in which I have nothing except this man method. So, first of all, we will create a class that extend a stateless widget. So for that I can use uh, st and this st less will appear and if I click enter it will automatically create a class for me that extend I have to only provide the class name so the class name will be text demo now now I can use this uh, text demo uh, over here but first of all I need uh, the run method now I will create the run app method and now we take in a widget so I will create material app widget inside it now I will put a comma here I'll put semicolon here and now here it takes some property so number one is home and this text demo class we will use as a home here text demo now we have called this but I want to get the text from the text field so for that I have to use uh, or I have to change the data so for uh, that we use state pull widget so I will click on this and I will click on this and uh, convert this to state pull widget now if I click this it will automatically create it uh, a state pull widget and uh, for me now I have to create the layout here now the first widget that we will return is a scaffold now inside the scaffold we will use a bar a bar and now we have uh, some properties inside this which is uh, title text and uh, uh, text demo and then we have another property title center title mm. true and we can also use the background color um, which I will use colors dot um, white accent gray and I will use this uh, 600 Now our app bar is complete. Let's run. Let's run the app on the device and let's see how it looks. Now uh, the app is uh, running on the device and then it is looking fine. Now we will create the body. So in the body we will use the uh, column widget because we want to add multiple widgets inside it now it takes an array of widgets by a property called children so if I click this now inside this array I can create multiple widgets 
So the first widget I will create is text field. Now we have various properties in text field like decoration etc. So the prop first property we will be using on text change or unchange and I take a text and now I will use curly braces then I will use decoration input decoration and now inside uh, this I will use hint enter your name now the other widget I will be using is uh, is a flat button so I'll say flat button now I'll use some properties on this so the first one will be on pressed and uh, now the second one will be text so I will use child because I'm using a widget inside a widget so click to get click and get text from field okay now it is showing an error this flat button so I will use comma here so that this uh, error on the flat button goes away now I will run this application now the app is running on the device but uh, this button is uh, not uh, looking great so I will change it color so I will say color is equal to colors dot umber colors dot umber and now if I control S it now the button is uh, looking great now uh, I will enter something into this uh, uh, text field and I will print it here as well as in this button click so here in on text change it will unchanged it will uh, print as we enter the text so I will print text semicolon now if I run this again and now if I enter something here typing it is printing in the console here yeah. now we will create a string variable at the top uh, here inside this class my text semicolon now we will assign this text to my text and now here we will print that so print text from button 
is plus my text now if i control s it art reload is not performing because i created a new variable and it is not performing because i have forgot a semicolon here remember this inside methods inside this unpressed or unchanged you can see we are using semicolons so use inside the curly braces of these uh, methods uh, semicolons if you do not use semicolon it will show an error now if i control s it it will perform heart reload and now if i enter something here consider if i enter my name m u d a double s that's it and now if i click this button now it is not working now it is working if i click this button now if i change this name and if i say Han, and now if i click this button you will see that uh, the text will be printed so that is all for today we have learned about text field and getting text from text field and printing it on to the console so i hope you like the video if you like the video please subscribe to my channel uh, because i'm getting a lot of views but i'm not getting any subscriber so please do subscribe if you are watching thank you